dancing in the kitchen. Hi, everybody. Hi there. I'm Ashley. And I'm Liz. And welcome to Dancing, dancing in, in the, the Kitchen. kitchen. All right, so this week we have our final episode in our series on overcoming obstacles to Correct. healthy eating. Yes, and if those obstacles, if you remember, they are time and money, mm -hmm. which is a you know a huge thing in, in figuring out what you're going to feed your family and and yeah, yeah, like whether you're a busy mom or Correct. a career woman mm -hmm. or any and all of those things. Yeah, all of them. So. Um, those things are definitely real constraints. Yep. All right, so this week we are talking about easy healthy snacks. Oh, nice. Okay, great. And we you know, those. sometimes we have time to prepare and like think ahead. We talked mm -hmm. about meal planning in another episode, um, but other times, like let's just be real. Right. We need to grab something packaged, and you know, we want to try to avoid processed foods, especially ones that are like highly refined and unhealthy, yeah. tons of sugar, etc. So we wanted to share with you some of our favorite sort of go-to snacks when we're on the run and we just don't have time to actually like get into the kitchen and cook. Right, yeah, so definitely. Liz, what do you like to grab? I like to grab either a banana, an apple. If I don't have any fruit, then I will grab a macro bar. Those are my favorite right now. And I love That's It bars as well, just because literally like in the title, that's it. So my favorite is the blueberry apple. And um, yeah, and like hummus and nuts, things that are easy. You can take with you, you know, pack a little bag and you're good to go. Yeah, They totally. sustain you for a little while, you know, so it's good. Yeah, same. And I know like for myself, I try to be really consistent with my eating, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and yeah. usually a snack in the afternoon. Right. Um, but sometimes when I'm on set, like if we're doing this show right. or if I'm or doing a session shoot, or yeah, whatever. Writing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't always have time to do that. And so I kind of rely on these little snacks to keep me fueled and keep me going, keep my energy Same. up. So I don't crash Same. and burn. Yeah, for sure. So some of the ones that I love, um, my go-to is this Essential Greens Juice. Mm -hmm. um, Revolution, I believe, is the company. And I will drink one of those with a handful of nuts, like usually cashews, and it'll keep me going for like another three hours. Awesome. It's awesome. And what I really love about it is that it doesn't have any fruit, unless you mm. want to call limes a fruit, which technically they are, but they have no sugar. Nice. Um, and so one of the things I look out for is like, I don't just drink smoothies and juices all the time because for one thing, eating fruits whole mm -hmm. slows down the sugar absorption with the fiber and right. when we juice it, yeah. that's all gone and it's kind of just like a sugar shot. Mm -hmm. So this juice is like all vegetables, it's celery, kale, um, parsley, etc. They don't put any apple in it? They don't. Wow. But they have the lime, which makes it kind of tangy mm. and sour. So I find it really palatable. Nice. Yeah, because I don't, I, I can't drink it if I don't like it. Right, of course. Yeah. yeah. And if you have an upset stomach like me, you know, mm -hmm. if you get like, I can't eat, drink those things on an empty stomach. So that's why I go for the nuts or something that's a little bit more filling. Mm -hmm. That way I can avoid that. Especially. Yeah, and the nuts are like a really good source of energy. They're really yeah, calorie the dense, nutrient mm -hmm. dense. So it's just like a good solid, you know, keep right. you going, like you said. Yeah. Um, another snack that I love are these purple carrot crackers with some hummus, with some fresh veggies. And so one of the ways I'll set myself up for success is just having kind of like fresh cut up veggies, carrots, celery, cucumbers, bell peppers. Mm -hmm. um, be able to grab that and have like a dip with it and yeah. eat that on the go, have some yeah. crackers. And that's a good way to use the produce that you've bought for the week to save time, save money. That way it's all cut up and then you can just grab it and you don't feel like you have to prepare this, you know, huge meal or anything. So. Totally. And the recipe that we're gonna be preparing today is also a dip that you can kind of have yeah. in your fridge ready to go. Um, but I do wanna share one more snack that my kids love, mm. which are these cheesy almond flour crackers. Okay. Um, and I really love the, this because they're grain free. They're made with almond flour. My kids love them. And like when, before I became a mom, I was like, I will never give my kids any prepackaged snacks. Mm. Not realistic. It's hard. No, yeah. very hard. So sometimes it's just easy to grab a bar or grab mm -hmm. a little package of crackers or whatever. And and these are ones that I feel good about. Good, yeah. All right, so the dip that we're gonna be preparing today is a wasabi edamame dip with tahini and white beans. Is it spicy? It is maybe a little spicy, okay. but I don't find it. So I kind of feel like the olive oil and the um, tahini and the beans, I'll give it a really like smooth taste that kind of mellows out the wasabi. Okay. Um, but it is a powerhouse when it comes to mood and mental health. Nice, tell me. Okay. So the edamame has folate, and we've talked before about how folate and B vitamins in particular can really right. be neuroprotective, support right. brain health, reduce um, symptoms of depression potentially. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the white beans also have folate, they've got some of that goodness in them. And then the tahini that's in the recipe has a compound called sesamol. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sesamol. Um, which again is neuroprotective, can help fight that inflammation. And then the wasabi is really interesting. It has a compound in it called isothiocyanates. But can you spell it? I think I can't. No, no. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> and so for short, ITCs. Okay. And isothiocyanates are also really neuroprotective, um, fighting inflammation. That's kind of what most of these foods do. They're all kind of going at it from a different right. angle, but kind of targeting different aspects of the same thing to a certain extent. Right. Um, so yeah, you've got all those amazing compounds mixed together in this one delicious dip mm -hmm. and you can make it, you know, on the weekend and then just grab it, put it in little containers and grab it with your veggies and your crackers and head out. And Is it something that you can freeze or now? You know, you possibly could. I don't know that I've tried that, so I can't. We can try it. Vouch for it. We yeah. can try it and we can see and okay. we'll let you know. Okay. You guys could try it mm -hmm. and you could let, let us, us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would right. be great. So the song that we're going to prepare our recipe to today is dun, 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 Find Me. Find Me. Find Me. So this song like kind of pulls up my heartstrings. So this song, when I was really deep down in my depression, like 10, 15 years ago, I would just sit at the piano and this song I would just play and play. And it was like my space of comfort. I would go to it and just like play this song. It's an original song? It's an original oh, okay. song, yeah. And um, I think I was playing the piano long before the words came. Um, and I was actually like, again, hospitalized at a certain point and like playing it in the recovery center to just like comfort myself. And I don't even, I don't remember if I was singing the words or not, but I remember like I saw it impact another girl and like she got really choked up and, and teary mm. around it. And I just felt like grateful that I could bring that element into that space mm -hmm. because, you know, some of you may have experienced this or have loved ones who've been in those kinds of situations, who've gone through hospitalization, who've had, you know, it's really hard, you guys. And when you're in a place like that, like there's coloring books and puzzles and like otherwise just going to group and like sitting with yourself mm -hmm. and it can be really hard. I bet. And so music isn't necessarily something that is always present in those environments, um, but music is so powerful and so healing. And so it was just really magical to be able to kind of touch someone's heart and help her have hopefully a cathartic experience as well, because I know it does that for me. Yay, good. So yeah, so this song's called Find Me. We hope that it touches your heart. Let us know. Yes. And let's go make some dip. Okay. Wasabi white bean edamame dip. Yeah, that's all of it. <laughs> dip. Dip. Yeah. Um, I thought it was delicious. It's done. So, yeah. And I'm not a big spicy wasabi, so I think it's good. Yeah. And just like pro tip, you guys, you can minimize the wasabi. So, like, you can kind yeah. of make it as spicy or not as you want, just depending Correct. on how much you I'm just in. a wuss, so <laughs> we have to accommodate. <laughs> um, so, thank you everybody for tuning in. As you know, like and subscribe below, and please let us know how your edamame dip turned out. And um, if you don't know by now, we have awesome merch, and um, it's linked below, of course. And if you um, don't know this by now. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, What's that song? You, you will never. never. <laughs> I like that song. Um, um, and check out other episodes. Yeah, check out our other yeah. episodes, yeah. and um, find uh, whatever recipes you loved, and let us know. Yeah. All right. We will see you next time on. See you next Dancing time in the kitchen. Bye. Bye. Bye.